Good evening. This is a quick review for Yankee Candles Luau Party in tart form. And I believe this is the first time I'm really testing the fragrance out. I picked it up at a semi-annual sale and had never tried it in a large jar or really in any form at all. Now, as you know, as many of you know, Yankee Candle has so many amazing fragrances that when there's just such a variety, it's hard for me to settle down um, on a fragrance like this. It just wasn't overly attractive to me for some reason. I can't really explain why that would be, especially now that I know more about it. So I think part of the purpose and goal, <clears throat> excuse me, goal or point of the tarts and votives and the samplers is to let people try them out to see if you'd like it in a larger candle form. And the more I've learned about this scent, the more I can see why that would be. So here is the description that I found for Luau Party by Yankee Candle. It says, join the celebration. Every day is a festival with the fun and fruity mix of orange fizz, sparkling peach, and vanilla ice. And immediately I'm thinking, really, that's what I'm smelling. Um, and then I went on to find the notes for this fragrance, the top, mid, and base notes. The top notes are orange fizz, sparkling peach, and white grapes. The mid notes are Bartlett pear, apple, Davana, and goji berry. And then the base notes are vanilla ice and white sugar. So immediately I'm thinking, wow, way more complex than I would have thought. I kind of just thought this was almost going to be like a juicy fruit, which is very yummy, by the way. You guys remember juicy fruit gum? Um, or something not even that nice. I really didn't know what to expect. I don't know if maybe I wasn't overly fond of the label, maybe. Although, it's really fun looking. It does look like a luau party is going on. But more interesting than anything was the Davana. D-A-V-A-N-A. Um, I had to look it up. So let me tell you what I found here. And isn't this interesting? This is an essential oil, Devana. Um, or it's often made into an essential oil. It's distilled from the leaves and flowers of the herb grown in India. It says that it's used primarily in natural pu perfumery and body and skincare preparations for its sweet and fruity fragrance. It's said to aid in enhancing skin health and promoting relaxation and lowering of blood pressure. And so I'm thinking as far as like aromatherapy goes, this scent is sounding better and better, isn't it? <laughs> In Anyway, um, it has the unique effect of smelling different on each person's skin. Um, that was if you were to be using it um, as an essential oil. So I had no idea um, anything about that. And so I found it really interesting. Now, um, the scent is very nice. I kind of wish I had a second one so I could show you the bright orange wax. You can kind of see it in here, although not too well. It's um, just a very orange. Here's a Mr. Owl tart. <laughs> tart warmer. Anyway, I don't really have a whole lot more to say other than I would probably try this out in a large jar. I would probably really give it a good shot because it sounds way more complex than I would have thought at first glance. As far as particular scent notes and the words in the description, I do get an orange fizz. I do get a sparkling peach type scent. Um, Vanilla ice, you do smell some undercurrents of vanilla. White grapes, maybe a little. Bartlett pear and apple, maybe a little. Goji berry, Devana, I'm not sure exactly. But the vanilla ice and white sugar and all the rest that I do know. Um, I would say this is a pretty nice scent combination. It's a little more complex than I would have thought. And I think if I had the chance, I would try this out in a larger candle. So anyway, that's my review for Luau Party by Yankee Candle. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice evening. Bye-bye.